Hello, friends, and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to a masterpiece of constructivist architecture, the Lenin Mausoleum. In late 1923, at a Politburo meeting of the Soviet government, a question on the revolutionary leader Vladimir Lenin's embalming, whose health was getting worse every day, was raised. And by the time of his death in January 1924, the first mausoleum had already been erected out of wood on Red Square. It was designed by famous Soviet architect Alexei Shusev in the shape of a square base headed with a pyramid. In spring 1924, two side stands were added. In 1925, however, an all-Soviet contest among architects was announced to see who could come up with the best mausoleum project for Lenin. Among the architects of the 117 submitted projects were Fyodor Shaktel, author of Yaroslavsky Railway Station in Moscow, and Lev Rudnev, author of the main building of the Moscow State University, as well as many more. According to the contest rules, the project had to include an inside hall with Lenin's body and an underground hall for a museum. On the walls, there should be decoration based on the revolutionary themes and the life of Vladimir Lenin. The mausoleum also had to match with the Kremlin walls and Red Square. The mausoleum was in the end to be an impressive sight and be the center of attraction for all eyes. In total, the commission narrowed the list down to the 25 most interesting projects. However, in the end, the commission decided to adopt Alexei Shusev's version. The first temporary wooden building was opened in January 27, 1924, near the Senate Tower of the Kremlin in Red Square. This building was a truncated, step-like pyramid with two L-like structures with staircases adjoining it at two sides. Visitors descended the right staircase to move along the three sides of the sarcophagus and exited by the left staircase. The construction of the stone mausoleum began July 1929 to October 1930. In plan, the stone mausoleum is practically the same as the wooden building. Visitors enter the main entrance and descend the left three meter wide staircase. The walls are faced with labradorite into the memorial hall. The hall is cubic in form, face length is 10 meters with a step like ceiling. A wide black labradorite band with red porphyritic pilasters on it runs around the periphery of the hall. To the right of the pilasters runs the band of black polished labradorite with zigzag bright red smalta strips between them. It contains a vestibule, morning hall, and two staircases. Opposite the entrance is a huge granite block that was carved with a coat of arms of the USSR of 1923. Two staircases are leading down from the vestibule. The left staircase is three meters wide and takes visitors down to the funeral hall. The walls of the descent are of gray labradorite with a ledged panel of labradorite and black labradorite. The funeral hall is a 10 meter cube with a step ceiling. A black labradorite band runs across the entire room on which pilasters of red porphyry are placed. Next to the pilasters are bands of bright red smalta, and to the right of the smalta are bands of black labradorite. This combination creates the effect of flames and banners flying in the wind. In the center of the hall is a black pedestal with a sarcophagus. The upper step slab of the sarcophagus is supported by four inconspicuous metal columns which give the impression that the slab is hanging in the air. The lower slab is covered in reddish jasper. The sarcophagus is made up of two inclined conical glasses, which are held together by a bronze frame. Lights and light filters are embedded in the upper part of the frame. They give an animated pink coloring and reduce heating. On either side of the sarcophagus are the battle and labor bronze banners, 
which appear satiny due to special illumination. In the headboard is a coat of arms of the USSR framed by oak and laurel branches. At the foot, there are branches twisted with ribbon. Visitors move along the low podium around the sarcophagus from the three sides, exit the memorial hall, ascend the right staircase, and exit the mausoleum through the door in the right side. Constructively, the frame of the building is reinforced concrete. The walls are filled with brick and faced with polished marble, labradorite, porphyry, and granite. The length of the mausoleum facade is 24 meters, the height 12 meters. The top portico is shifted toward the Kremlin wall. In the wooden mausoleum, it was shifted to the front facade. The mausoleum pyramid consists of five projections of different heights. In the wooden building, there were six. 